Hello, everybody. I'm Mr. Controversial himself, coming to you live from Los Angeles, California, presented by Digital Media Productions. And I know it's been a while since I did my last YouTube video. Uh, a lot has gone on so much that I had to write a lot of this stuff down and uh, edited by my producers and writers. But let's hop right into it. Let's uh, blood pressure rising right now. And um, let's start right into hip hop. Okay, so. As you know, Nick Cannon and Mariah Carey tied the knot a few weeks ago during a small, intimate, private ceremony in the Bahamas. Congratulations to Nick Cannon and Mariah Carey on their new um, commitment to each other, and I hope they have a wonderful, uh, uh, beautiful uh, marriage together. Uh, the paparazzi also uh, photograph Nick Cannon getting out a new Maserati so I guess that was a wedding gift we could assume what a great wedding gift to get from your uh, new spouse also in hip-hop news as always 50 Cent 50 Cent got his chain snatcher in Johannesburg Africa honestly 50 Cent you should know better than wearing such expensive jewelry in a poor country you know, that's kind of like dangling meat in front of some lions. So, you know, you're smarter than that. You know, get your, get your mind right. Also, according to an online website, 50 Cent's diss the South. This website reports 50 Cent thinks that the South is inferior to his lyrical ability. I mean, how cute. 50 Cent, I got something for you. I'm going to have a new album coming out sometime at the end of this year. And I definitely I have some people on there that can give you some competition against your lyrical ability that come from the South. Uh, some people might say that Texas is geographically in the Midwest, but you know, if you're from Texas, we all consider ourselves Southerners because we got that uh, Southern dialect in our uh, communications. But I got some much. Uh, I got some lyrical competition uh, coming to you, 50 Cent, uh, as soon as I can get everything taken care of. Don't worry about it. We'll give you some lyrical competition, Dallas style. You feel me? Um, moving right along, as we talk about 50 Cent, you know, we got to mention the game. The game was uh, just, I caught an interview with the game. Uh, he was being interviewed by DJ Funk Master Flex, and the primary discussion was about the game signing the young man uh, that knocked out Suge Knight. As y'all know, about two weeks ago, Suge Knight got knocked the fuck out uh, outside a Los Angeles nightclub. You know, it's big. Everybody is like, oh, Suge Knight got knocked out. You know, he'd been in the game 20 years. I really don't get it, but, you know, T each his own. So uh, the game is talking about signing that guy, and TMZ has named that guy the knockout kid. Um, also, you know, uh, when you mention 50 Cent, you have to uh, mention Fat Joe. The beef between 50 Cent and Fat Joe is continuing. Um, 50 Cent, just give it a rest, you know. Fat Joe is a nice guy. You shouldn't pick on Fat Joe. He's the type of guy that parents hire to come perform at their daughter's six week, sweet 16 birthday party. You know, he, he's one of those good rappers, uh, sweet 16 rappers. So leave him alone. Like I said, I got some, much, I got some lyrical competition um, coming for you soon. Um, you know, and nobody gives a fuck about Fat Joe. Let's be honest. Like... He's not well accepted in the African-American hip-hop community. We don't mention him when we mention great rappers or MCs that have longevity and a lucrative career. Leave Fat Joe alone. Okay, also in hip-hop, T.I. Congratulations to T.I. on taking responsibilities for his actions. As you know, um, last year he was arrested on some uh, gun charges and now he's gonna do a one-year prison uh, term and a thousand hours of community service. And I just want to say you know T.I. congratulations because you know you did the crime and you're gonna do the, cr the you did the crime and you're gonna do the time and you're not bitching about it and that's great you know 
we need more people that do the crime and stand up for what they do and not bitch about it and, you know, take responsibilities for their actions. Also, T.I., congratulations on welcoming, welcoming a new son. I know that's uh, real big, so uh, I hope you uh, enjoy the time that you have before you have to do your uh, time behind bars. But I pray out to you and your son and your family. So keep your head up. Congratulations. Okay, also, um, the BET Awards are right around the corner, so everybody is um, anxiously awaiting to see who's going to be named uh, MC of the Year. My pick, uh, probably Blee, would be Lil Wayne. Uh, you know, he's expecting the album to come out, I think, within the next 10 days, next Tuesday or something. Um, so, we're looking forward to seeing uh, the quarter three. So, um, Lil Wayne. Uh, I will be buying the album and look forward to checking that out. Now, let's move right into politics. Okay, first on the politics list is Governor Mike Huckabee. Govern Governor Mike Huckabee made some disengaging comments about future President Barack Obama. It was unbecoming of a pastor and unchristian-like. I felt his com comments were borderline racist. The comments he made regarding Senator Barack Obama should have been morally uncomfortable coming from a man of God. Government, Governor Mike Huckabee, I'm so ashamed of you. I feel like that you know better, and especially being a man of God, you should not make such nasty and, and, and uh, foul comments. Um, you need to ask Jesus to forgive you, white Jesus. Black Jesus already forgave you. Next, uh, Bill O'Reilly, which is always a uh, gut-wrenching topic. Um, we're going to name Bill O'Reilly, Bill Suge Knight O'Reilly, because someone uh, needs to give him some of the medicine that uh, they gave Suge Knight about two weeks ago. So from now on on this show, when we refer to Bill O'Reilly, it'll be Bill Suge Knight O'Reilly. So, Bill Shug Knight O'Reilly, which is the king of Republican media, as you know, and also he's an inconsiderate dickhead. You know, that's basically how to sum it up. Um, so, we're going to try to focus on making Bill O'Reilly ratings come down because He's just a Suge Knight of white Republican media, and he don't need to uh, fill the minds of uh, Anglo-Saxon uh, Cajun males uh, with his rhetoric and uh, borderline racist uh, views on life. Also, his partner will be um, Sean Hitler Hennessy. And his views are pretty much like Hitler's, very dis disengaging, very disappointing. Uh, he's the prince of racist, subliminal media, Sean Hitler entity. His secret underlying racism is affecting a lot of white college students by subliminally trying to persuade them to the old beliefs of Sean Hennessy's great-grandfather, and we definitely don't need that. Um, so you have to understand that Sean Hitler Hennessy, great-grandfather, was in favor of white power. Now, Hennessy himself tries to portray that he's not a racist and that his great-grandfather wasn't a white supremacist, but he's not doing a very good job, and a lot of times he don't even try to um, cover it up. So. Bill Suge Knight O'Reilly and Sean Hitler Hennity, we got our eyes on you and we're going to try to make sure your ratings go down. Also, Bill Suge Knight O'Reilly made some very disturbing, very racial, very uh, terroristic uh, remarks regarding future First Lady Michelle Obama. Uh, Bill O'Reilly, uh, and I quote, we should go on a lynching party of Michelle Obama if it is true, end quote. Those remarks within itself are, are deeming, they're, they're 